Here at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy, we are blessed to be able to offer daily to you an outdoor two o'clock mass. But unfortunately, our inside shrine by directive has to remain temporarily closed. Hi, I'm Father Chris Alar of the Marians of the Immaculate Conception. And we are hoping very soon that these doors will open. Now, when they do open, how do we get our loved ones back into these churches? How do we get our loved ones, those we care most about, to come back to God and practice their faith? You know, not long ago, we sent out a survey asking people to give us what they wanted to hear as topics in the regular talks that I do every Saturday morning. And by far, the overwhelming number of responses said, Father, how do we get our children, our adult children, our spouses and our loved ones to come back to the faith? In fact, how do we properly evangelize? You know, we all know the great commandments that God gave us to love him above all things and love our neighbor as ourself. But do you know that God gave the great command in Matthew 28 to go and make disciples of all nations and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, how do you do that? How do you, which you are called, not just priests and specialists are called to do this, but every single Christian is called to bring people to Christ. I am asked all the time by people, Father, what do I do when those I care about have fallen away from the faith? Well, there are four things that you can do above all others that I think are really powerful. One, have a mass said for them. They don't even have to know about it. In fact, the saints tell us that one mass said for somebody while they are alive is worth more than a hundred masses after they are dead. Next, pray the rosary and the chaplet of divine mercy for them daily. Why those two prayers? Because the rosary is like liturgy of the word, the first part of the mass. It's a meditation on scripture. And the chaplet of divine mercy is like the liturgy of the Eucharist, the second part of the mass where we offer sacrifice. And yes, by virtue of your baptism, you are a priest. I'll explain that. And you can offer sacrifice. Next, we have to let others see joy in us, not sadness. You know, nobody is ever pushed back into the church. We have to pull them. And the way that we pull them is they see the joy in you and they say, you know what? What is it that mom or grandma or grandpa has that made them so happy? Maybe it was that faith thing. And I want some of that joy. Maybe I think I'll go back to practicing my faith. Powerful stuff. And last, offer up your sufferings especially the sufferings that those loved ones caused you by being away from the church. You can offer up every ounce of that to God as an offering, an atonement for sin, to bring them back to their faith. And sometimes maybe till not at the moment of their death that they turn back to God, but the prayers and the graces are planted for this to maybe happen. And this is why our faith teaches us we must intercede for our loved ones. So please, we're gonna explain these reasons and many, many more practical ways and teachings of the church that will help get these churches full again, to bring the loved ones that we care so much about back to the loving embrace of the mercy of God. So please join us this Saturday, September 26th at 11 o'clock Eastern time on our YouTube channel, Divine Mercy, on our Facebook page, The Divine Mercy Official, or best yet, our webpage, thedivinemercy.org. And we're gonna help give you again examples of how to fill these churches and bring our loved ones back to God. And know that we are praying for you and those loved ones of yours. And thank you for praying for us as we're all part of this body of Christ. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.